Hey guys, my name is Brooks Like. Welcome back to my channel. Last week I showed you my seven exercises to mobilize your hip and hamstrings. This week I'm going to show you exactly how I program my training sessions. So I try and plan my workouts the day before. So every morning when I come out in the morning, my workout is already written on the board. That prepares me for success that day. Now it doesn't mean I'm always going to hit everything on there because sometimes the body might be sore or tight. You can't do a specific movement. But it's a great template to start with. It prepares me for the day and most often it's the way I get the best results. Session one, mobility is where I start every single day. So you'll see up here in blue, I've got mobility written in blue. That separates, this is my segment. So I'm focusing on mobility in this segment only. Not rushing to worry about the rest of the workout, what I have to do. Let's just focus on mobility and warming up, mobilizing prior to working out. Then I move to the next segment, which is a primer. I always, once I'm mobilized, I want to warm up. I want to heat up the body temperature before I really start attacking a workout. So next segment is primer. Just a couple of rounds of something just to get the blood flowing, get the body warmed up. And then, boom, we're shifting into the priority of today's workout. So once you're ready to go, shift to the priority. Whatever you are doing as your emphasis for your training, do that the first thing in the day, the first part of the day. So for me, I'm in a phase where I'm trying to get stronger. So strength is my emphasis in the day. So strength, once I move from primer to strength, I am focused here and you see in red, I've written right here, max load. So my intent during this strength segment is to lift as much weight as possible. So I want max load in there. Once I'm done that, I'm going to move on to accessory pieces. I want to build up. Today was a shoulder press, so now I want to move to some accessory pieces that build up the shoulders, build up the muscles around the shoulders, the back. And here you can see I made another intent, keep the form, because these can sometimes be very difficult to do, and I want to focus on keeping form. The last piece of the morning session is the midline conditioning. It's a quick wad, takes about six to seven minutes. I'm going to hit that. Done for the morning. Then I have a break here. You see I rate session number two. Session number two begins at about 1.30 in the afternoon and we're now going to power. So we did strength back here in the morning. We're now shifting back to power and you notice right here I wrote explode. So this is the rep scheme, seven reps of two. I'll write the weights in under here, but the focus right there is of power, doing a power clean. Then we have our main wad of the day, our conditioning. So this is going to tax the lungs. This is the, the biggest workout part of the day. The other ones have focused on strength and power. This is now we're going to work the cardio and the, fit, the functional fitness. And then at the very end, the last part of the day, mobility and recovery. There's no sense training if we can't train again tomorrow. You're getting blown up and you can't train again tomorrow. So much of training and to get great training sessions in and elevate the, your fitness is recovery. I spend a lot of mobility, time on mobility at the start. I'll spend time at the end and I'll also do recovery at the end. That allows me to come back in here tomorrow in the same shape I am today and launch into tomorrow's workout. So now you guys see how I program my training sessions. So you see that I have segmented different elements of fitness. I have mobility, primer, strength, accessory, midline conditioning, power conditioning, mobility, recovery. I focus on different areas of fitness. I'd encourage you to do the same and don't rush from one to the other. We want to have specific intents here. And I'm going to hit this workout now and I'm excited to launch a little series called Train Like a Pro where I'm going to do this workout and you'll be able to see me doing these exact movements. I'm going to put out a new training session every week and train like a pro, have different friends and people come work out with me. So stay tuned, come back next week for that.